Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with exercise 3a of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page 73, and the question I'm going to do is 14. It reads, the particle is projected with initial speed 35 i hat plus 14 j hat from a point on a horizontal plane. Find the times at which the height above the horizontal plane is 3 quarters of its maximum height. First thing we do is we note that g is negative 9.81 meters per second squared in this direction, that we have our x and y plane or Cartesian plane there, and we have our unit vectors as normal. So the first thing we need to do is sketch the motion, and we're going to sketch it on a velocity time diagram. Time measured in seconds, velocity measured in meters per second, like that. So, of course, these are vectors, so we have an initial velocity vector, like so, I'm going to call it u. Now u, of course, is a resultant vector made up of two component unit vectors. They are the vectors which, when added together, they will give you your resultant vector. They are this vector here, and this vector here. So this is u sub y, and this is u sub x, like that. They're both vectors. Of course, then, the practical continues to the ground like that. The maximum height is the point up here where the velocity the uh, particle stops. Um, yeah, the particle stops or the acceleration stops. Not the acceleration doesn't stop, but the particle actually stops. Alright? So, anyhow. Next, we need to find out, in the question based on rest, the two points at which its height is three quarters that of its maximum height. So, if, that, if this part here, this dot represents the maximum height, well, then three quarters of the maximum height might be at this, this height here. Alright, so if I draw a straight line across, you'll see that it intersects the path of the projectile twice, here and here. That means that there are two times at which that the, uh, we'll say the projectile is at that height. Now, by the way, this is a velocity time diagram, but you can see the motion on both. So you'd, you'd have to draw a distance versus time diagram to get this correctly, or properly, we'll say rigorously. Anyway, and just go down to the time axis to find at what time we're at that height. So T1 and T2, like so. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is find the, the height, the, the maximum height. And as I said to you already, well, when, when are we at our maximum height? We're at our maximum height when the particles come to rest. So that, think about it, if you want to just pick up your biro now and throw it in the air, it will stop in the middle of the air and then come back down. So it will have a speed going up, then it will come to rest, zero speed, and then it will have a speed coming down. So what we need to do here is find the point or the time at which the speed going up becomes zero. So let's do that. The first thing we do, we only need to talk about our y dimension, or our y axis, so we have u, v, a, s, t. The initial speed is given at 14 j hat. All right, so u sub y is equal to 14. The acceleration is equal to g. The final velocity v is unknown. And the, the height, uh, let me think now, the height, that's what we're trying to find, we're going to call that t. Now, when I said that the, the, the final velocity v is unknown, well, it's unknown until we said that's the condition, it has to be zero for it to be at its maximum height, like so. So the first thing we need to do is find the time at which that if, uh, if v sub y is equal to zero. v sub y, like that. So let's say v is equal to u plus at. So zero is equal to 14 plus gt. Minus 14 is equal to gt. Minus 14 is equal to minus 9.81t. t is equal to minus 14 over minus 9.81 is equal to. To put out my calculator here now again. So 14 divided by 9.81. Remember, of course, that the negative signs can cancel, and you get a time of 1.42 seconds. 1.42 seconds, is that correct? Uh, let me see here now. Yeah, that's correct. So we're after finding the time at which the particles come to rest, 1.42 seconds. So what we need to do now is find the, the height that that course, or which that corresponds to. 1.42 seconds. Like so. So we can use any of the formula that we usually use. I'm going to use 
u plus v over 2 times t, just easier. So I'll just put out the calculator. So it's 7 multiplied by 1.42. That gives a distance of 9.98 meters. Just check that again now. Uh, let's say, yeah, 10 meters, approximately 10 meters. So 9.98 is approximately 10 meters. All right. So the next thing we need to do is find out what actually corresponds to 3 quarters of 10. All right, or that that will say s sub y, the maximum height, the maximum height whatsoever, is ten meters. And what we're actually being asked to do is find the the, the time it took to get to three quarters that height. So first of all, we need to find out what is three quarters that height. Well, of course, it is seven point five meters. So what we need to do now is find the new time. We say we know, we know, we need to find a new time. So get this, just call it t. And we can not we can change the distance now to 7.5. Everything else stays the same. So now looking oh does it? Let me think now. No, V doesn't change the same. That that's no longer we we'll just call it V. So you need to find the time at which the distance is equal to 7.5 meters. So let's just do that. Use the same formula as normal. S is equal to ut plus a half a t squared, like so. Alright, like that. So that's equal to 14t plus half g t squared. And that's equal to 7.5. Alright, now you can see of course this is going to give us a quadratic because look we have a t squared. So the highest power is 2, therefore it's going to be a quadratic or a polynomial of degree 2. So let's just rearrange this. I'm going to multiply everywhere across by 2. 28t minus 9.8t squared is equal to 15. So rearrange that again, we get 9.8t squared minus 28t plus 15 is equal to 0. And I'm just going to check that. Yeah, I think we're okay with, with that. So the next thing we need to do is solve that equation. We're going to get two solutions because if you look at this is a polynomial of degree 2 as in it is something where the powers, the highest powers of degree 2 so it's a polynomial of degree 2. In that case for a polynomial of degree 2 you will get uh, you will get two solutions. If you've only uh, of degree 1 where we'll say that this part here wasn't there you would get one solution and if it was t to the 0 you'll see you'll only get uh, one, sorry you'll get um, Two, yeah, one solution for that. Two solutions for this. If there was a cube, you get three solutions. If there was a quadratic, you get four. Or not a quadratic, but a what's four? I can't even think it off the top of my head. Anyway, so the formula we're going to use to solve this is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus four ac over two a. Whereby in this case, a is equal to plus nine point eight. B is equal to minus two point or twenty eight and C is equal to plus fifteen. So let's do that. It's going to be minus times minus twenty eight plus or minus something over uh, nine nine point eight multiplied by two. I can never do that at the top of my head. What's that? Um, nineteen point nineteen point six is it? I think so. Anyway. So I'm just going to do the square root, to be honest, on my calculator. So it is b squared is equal to 28. 28 squared. Well, the negative doesn't really matter because you're squaring it. b squared minus 4 times 9.8 times plus 15, like so. That's 196. Square root that. And you're going to get an answer of 14. All right. Now if you look at that, that means in both cases we're going to get a positive number, which is what we know that because obviously we have we have two points that are at, you know after the, the particle has started. So I'm just going to plug these into the calculator and find out what it is. So it's 28 plus 14 divided by 19.6 
giving an answer of 2.14 and it's 28 minus 14 divided by 19.6 giving an answer of 0 0.71 all right, so let's just check those. 15 over 7 is 2.4 and 5 over 7, that's correct. So both those times are correct. Clearly the time, sm the smaller time at 0 0.71 is the time at which it, it is at uh, the, lower, the lower side of the, the, uh, the motion and the time 2.14 is the later time. So that was pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.